Hello again. This week I'm feeling crafty and curious, which means it's the perfect time for another head-to-head -head curl challenge, where I set each half of my hair in different ways to see how different curling methods, setting styles, etc. see how they compare and contrast. And this week I'll be comparing DIY setting methods. I'll be using homemade flaxseed gel on one side of my hair and sugar water hairspray on the other. Is my hair just going to be one sticky mess? Let's find out. Welcome back to my kitchen for what is sure to be the least gross video I've ever made in here. So we're gonna start making our setting holds and let them cool before using them on our actual head. And lucky for me, these recipes are pretty simple. We're gonna start with the flaxseed gel first. You will need flax seeds, of course, water, and you could end there. That's what I'll be doing today, just flax seeds and water, but you can add other essential oils and other things to <laughs> make it more softening or smell nicer, what have you, but you can do it just the basics. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so we've got um, some flaxseed gel going on in here. Gonna let that cool. And now I'm going to start making the sugar water. This one is even simpler. With our setting holds made, it is time to get started. I'm gonna start with the sugar water first as it seems the least messy. I'm just using pillow rollers today and I'm just gonna treat it like any other wet set. All right, we have the sugar water side set. Putting it in was as painless as a normal wet set. I kind of feel like a leftover, ever so slightly stickiness. But anyway, we'll see how that turns out tomorrow and get started on the flaxseed gel side. Now this one I'm a little bit more nervous about because the flaxseed gel is a lot thicker than water. So I've really tried to mix it up here. I used about two parts water to one part gel. Oh, it's definitely a lot heavier coming out. Uh, it's more of a spray in your hand and then on your hair type of thing. Okay, the flaxseed gel side is in. I don't know that I'm 100% convinced. Um, it feels like there's a lot of product on my hair, so I'm a little bit concerned about the drying. But I will let these air dry for a bit, cover my curls before I go to sleep, and I'll see you in the morning to take these guys out. See you then. Good morning. Let's see how these curls fared the night. All right, all more or less intact uh, a little bit less i'm really nervous to see if they are dry underneath all of this only one way to find out <laughs> the sugar water side is feeling pretty dry let's see let's see about the gel Okay, the gel side is feeling pretty dry too, which I'm <laughs> very excited about. 
And now I'm going to let my curls relax a bit and, you know, just get used to the air temperature while I do my makeup. I have my makeup on. It's time to start breaking these, <laughs> breaking these curls up. Start with the sugar water side. I can definitely feel there's a slight cast on the curl. It's very slight. I was worried that it would be sticky, but it's, it's all right so far. A little crunchier at the ends. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's try this, this gel side. But this side is feeling really soft and nice. It's not so much like a crunchy cast that I'm breaking up. Though these curls I'm not 100% convinced on just yet. As far as breaking it up with the fingers goes, this side is looking a little bit more ready to go. My gel, my flaxseed gel side, I don't know if that's just because the gel is heavier or more moisturizing, so it weighs the curl down. Go in with my comb to get a few pieces nice and smooth and ready to be shaped. I know some people really don't believe in fine combing the curls, but, but for me, I find that it works. Um, Works pretty well. I'd say both sides are pretty easy to brush out with a comb. No stickiness, no residue. My hair feels like actually great on both sides. But now I'm curious to see how they will hold up and set as I try to brush them under into a more vintage style. I'm not sure. I feel like this gel side is really relaxed. Um, Let's find out. So there we go. As far as getting the classic vintage shape, I think the sugar water did a much better job of that. This side very much reads vintage style hair. And both, I have to say, were amazingly easy to make and super easy to brush out in style. I'm in two minds about the flaxseed gel. On one hand, like these are nice soft waves. I wouldn't say it's reading so much of a classically vintage shape, but it is really soft and nice when maybe you want a more relaxed style. So I think in the future, I will definitely be using it, but for more, um, more of a soft romantic feel than specifically a vintage style. Or in the future, I'd be very interested to see me using the flaxseed gel when setting my hair, but doing smaller clumps of curls. But either way, I think they're both successes, both different. Now I have these two extra setting methods in my arsenal to guide how I want to do my hair in the future. <laughs> I would love to know what you thought of these DIY setting methods. Have you used any of these yourself? Will you try either of these after this video? Or are there any other DIY setting methods that you would like me to try? Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I upload new videos every Friday. I hope you have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Let's gart. Let's gart. Let's gart. Let's go. Start with the salt water. Or we'll start with the sugar water side. Keep on wanting to call it salt water, but it's not. <laughs> and if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Oh, I shook my head no there. Um, I shouldn't like subliminally tell you not to subscribe. Please subscribe. Why do I do that?